Okay, so last week, our next guest sister, Spencer, stopped by, and I love both of them the same, and that's why I'm doing this, so no one thinks uh, one's better or more special to me than the other. <clears throat> Here we go. The lesson in the psychological thriller Deadly Illusions is to be careful about who you let into your home. What happened to my echo? <laughs> <sighs> A best-selling author played by Sex in the City's Kristen Davis hires a nanny who seems to be perfect in every way. Hmm, bummer. So, you read a lot? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Whenever I can. But don't worry, I, I would never around the children. Oh, why not? Gosh, I think it would be amazing for them to see a young person reading an actual book. Lord knows we need more of that these days. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. This is nice. Good. Mm. Is she here with us from the cast of Deadly Illusions is actress Greer Grandma. Good morning, Greer. Good morning. I'm sorry, my surprise messed up. What? I said the surprise I was gonna. It was supposed to happen, but then it didn't. So I, I next time you come back, I'll make sure it works. Okay. <laughs> we'll make a deal because I can't be like because you play Grace, who is kind of. I can't. I, I don't want to mess with Grace. You do it. You do it so well. I don't know. You know what I mean. <laughs> so t tell us more about this character and uh, Deadly Illusions. Oh my gosh. Um, so Grace is yeah. She's um, a nanny that Kristen Davis's character Mary hires um, to help take care of her children while she goes back to work. And as Mary's writing, she kind of slips into you know she doesn't know what's reality and what's not. And that was really fun to play because I got to play this kind of crazy little, um, I get to play this crazy character who is, has two sides to her. She's really sweet, but then there's also a sultry, sexy, crazy side. All right, so when you say, you, you've said it yourself, crazy. I didn't want to uh -huh. say it, but it's good that you're the one saying it. So when you play a crazy character like Grace, right? Are you mm -hmm. one of those actresses that stays in character? while on set or do you get because i want to know but just because i stalk people every now and then so i want to know <laughs> if there is a sequel and if i show up on set should i stay away from you when i go to craft services i want to know no no i'm not method i don't stay in character um while i'm filming i'm very good at like separating the two and being able to just like slip into it when they say action so there is no um worries about if you come to visit set that you will meet Margaret. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's so it's so crazy how you say uh, when I come to visit. I said I'm stalking. You said visit. Thank you. Right. Thank you for the invite. I really. I, You're always welcome. All right. I really appreciate it. But the thing is, like, some fans will will see this movie and then they're gonna say, "Wait a minute, is that Lisa from Awkward?" Lisa. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, that that was what was so fun about doing this part and doing this movie was that it was such a departure from the Lissa character um, on Awkward, which, you know, people are used to seeing me as, and this was a completely different role. And I, it's been fun to get those responses from people. Like, I've had a few DMs of, of everyone just being like, oh my gosh, like, Lissa, is that you, girl? And I'm like, yes. All right, so I was telling you earlier that your sister was here last week, and I, I'm... I don't know if she also told you that I was invited to the family Christmas she get together. She did not tell me that you're invited to the family Christmas. Of course, you are more than welcome. Now you know. So I, I, I maybe, does this mean she was lying to me? The fact she was like, oh, you can come by any time, and then she didn't even bring it up no. to you. Is this no, her? No, you can come by any time. Oh my gosh, we are like an open door family. You can come by any time you want. Oh, and then the thing is, I also brought up your dad because Speaking of pretty impressive, like I met him once and imagine we're talking about what he ordered from Amazon because he had the show on Amazon then okay. when we're, oh my God, that's the show. That's a poster yeah. for it. So we're talking about it because I said to him what, is, and he was telling me how he just ordered water filters from Amazon and stuff. But since mm -hmm. the show's on Netflix, what was the last thing you binge watched on Netflix? Ooh, the last thing I binge watched on Netflix. Um, Honestly, it was probably Gilmore Girls. I have watched that show uh, was, was more times than I can count, and that was probably the last thing I like re-binged it. I think in October, mm. all seven seasons. Loved Ooh. it. I love it. Have you binged Bridgerton? Oh yes, I did binge Bridgerton. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was probably the last thing I binged. See, this is why we're family, Greer. Like I sensed yes. it. I knew you were saying it. I was like, yeah, I know, but I see Bridgerton. Like your eyes were saying Bridgerton, but your lips were saying something else. 
Yep, Rear. yep. No, I did binge Bridgerton. All right. Such a pleasure to meet you. Such, such, such a pleasure. Deadly Illusions, it's currently streaming on Netflix. If there is a sequel, come back, and then maybe my surprise will work then when I introduce you next time. Deal? Absolutely. All right. Such a pleasure. Deal. Good to meet you. Tell Spencer. I will. I All will. Right. I'll tell her. Thank you. Have a good day, okay? You too.